All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today is Good Friday, April the 7th. We are at a 100 acre private lake. We come here once a year for the crappie spawn usually, and we usually end up getting a big bass as well. Uh, as with most things, it's hard to plan. When you plan something that far ahead, you don't know what the weather's gonna do, and I don't like canceling on this guy. Today is the day after a full moon, 85% overcast the whole day. This is the third or fourth day of complete overcast. We have northeast winds 10 to 12 mile an hour. That's the bad part. Everything else is in our favor. The high temperature for the day is gonna be 63 degrees. It definitely won't feel like it with them north winds. Um, we just, our area just experienced a tornado three days ago and ever since that came through, this is our third straight day of northeast winds and complete overcast. It was 80 degrees before the tornado happened. Crappie were probably damn close to being on their beds. All right, well, we caught one. Um, but with this, it was so cold this morning when we got here at 7 a.m. I had to stay in the van and keep warm. It took me an hour to one even get out because this wind is so cold. We're going to go in this cove over here. Oh, she caught a little largemouth. And by little, I mean little. But it hates first fish, guys. Record. Huh? We're going to go over here to get guys in this cove that's protected from the wind and we're hoping these crappie are at least pre-spawning or close to spawning and got their tuxedo on the males the jet black males is what i'm hoping for the charcoal cheeks um, unfortunately this is a very late spring i probably should have waited to come here about another week and a half from now when it was going to be 80 degrees for a high this is the second year in a row we've came here and it's always very windy and very cold it does not definitely does not feel like april the 7th out here i can tell you that very cold it's going to be a very cold day very windy it's never going to quit blowing okay. uh hopefully the full moon in the overcast conditions makes these fish still cooperate um, that's all we can hope for anyway guys we are completely loaded up got the motor four poles minnows worms lures big bass baits everything so we're gonna get on the water into a giant on a spinner bait it's a is that a channel or a blue it's a blue cat guys she just caught a nice blue cat on a spinner bait he's probably five pounds hold him up real good i want to get a good picture of you with the spinner bait show everything now hold him with the put your fingers behind the fins like this It's a blue cat. It's not a channel. Good picture. That's a nice catch. Yep, that is a blue cat without a doubt. Wow. What an unexpected catch, guys. You want to keep it? here hey she just caught a five pound blue catfish on a spinner bait yeah so there that's probably is what you had i'm guessing now i couldn't believe it <laughs> yeah it is uh do you want it because if not we're gonna put it back 
Oh, okay. I was just letting you know. At least we we finally. That was a nice unexpected uh, surprise there. So. Uh, so far a bunch of small bass, but we're getting we're getting ready to work these trees though, so it, it could turn around right here. Okay, I appreciate it. All right. Yeah, it is. Actually, that might be a channel. No. I can tell by the fin. The fin, yeah. It's just a weird color. It's not blue. Oh, this one. Hold that one. Hold it. Got my first bluegill of the day. He's not bad. Put it on a white marabou jig. Not a bad little bluegill. Not a bad little bluegill. Not a bad little bluegill. So that's what I was seeing swimming around. Remember earlier I said I think it's a bluegill pecking at it? This is where they spawn at, the bluegill in here. It's not a bad size. It's not huge. But... That wouldn't have been that bad to keep. Yeah, she got a nice crappie, guys. Big old Prego, yeah. Hold it up. First crappie of the day, guys. Bobber and minnow? Uh huh. Nice. Down a little bit. There you go. Closer to your body a little bit. There you go. It's not bad, yeah. What? Huh, I'm gonna go get my get the minnow bringing her. in my other pole. Oh my, oh my. I don't know. I have no idea. I think it's a catfish. It's gotta be a channel cat. No, it's a large mouth. And it's a nice one. He's three. He's a three. Three and a half. Full three for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, I just got me a three pound largey. Yes indeed. I'm gonna have to reel in this slack, I think, to get this over to her so I can record myself holding it up. Not a bad little large mouth. Not a bad large mouth, guys. It's about 18 inches and three pounds. And really smelly for some reason. Okay. Must be a little one. I just missed him twice. Yeah, it's got to be a small fish.
crop. No, nope, it's tiny bass. That's why I kept missing you. Now my minnow's dead. So we need to go here in a second. I'm going to try to catch one on it dead, but I doubt it. That's where I lost that giant right there. God, there's a lot of fish in this little pond. Oh my! Here we go, five pounder. There we go, guys. This is the one I lost. No, he's six. He's six. He's six. He's a sixer. Maybe. At least five and a half. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, he is barely hooked. Oh, no, 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 no. On a dead minnow, guys. <sighs> Will you come here? Good God, not you. I'm talking to the fish. But yeah, you can come here too. Oh, yeah. There we go. <sighs> Man. Now that's what I came for right there. <sighs> oh, my. Whew. What a bass, guys. Oh, look at that tank. He's a full five, maybe five and a half. He's not six, though. Wow. Oh, my God, that's a really big. Yeah, it is. It's a big bass. And one like this. <laughs> He's a full five easily, but I'm going to say five and a half. Man, on a dead minnow, guys. I was getting about to walk away because the last fish killed my minnow and ripped its eyes out. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to twitch it and see what happens. My battery's about to die, guys. Let's let this guy go. You got minnows. Got him. Oh my God. Oh my God. This has got to be seven or eight pounds, Wilma. Not kidding you. Holy cow. Unless it's one of them blue cats. I got to take it easy with him and I got 15 pound line. It's that. It's fighting that hard. I do believe so. Sure as the hell feels like it. Oh my god. Stay out of that anchor, buddy. My theory was right, the fish were being down here because it's blowing all the plankton and stuff down here, guys. The wind is blowing to this corner of the lake. It's a hundred eight. Oh my god, it's barely hooked. It's hooked in the face. or seven. Oh my god I might lose him if he runs oh! oh my god guys whoa what a tank of a large mouth
He's seven. He's, we're gonna weigh it. We're gonna weigh this horse, guys. That is a beast. I cannot believe he gave me a second chance. He got off the first time I had him hooked for about one second, but I knew it was something big. And I thought for sure I thought for sure he he wouldn't touch it again. But amazingly he did. say seven even is my guess maybe eight he could be actually it's i'm not going to say it's impossible uh the scales in the one behind this one i think <sighs> guys we are going to get a weight on this fella it ain't often i care to do it but i definitely am this time I was a little bit off on that. It's six pounds. Still a nice bass. Now I'm going to be interested in crappie pretty much the rest of the day. Let's get some good couple more photos. No, you're holding it sideways. Yeah, I can see it good. It won't show up right. I'll have to do one like this. chasing all day long and finally paid off took but till two in the afternoon in here. took till two in the afternoon but we finally got it okay. there we go our day's gonna turn around we got faith we're gonna have a good day uh hold it